Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to a very blustery day here in the Finger Lakes. I am doing this filming ahead of time. It is uh, dark. It is wet. Uh, it's raining. It's windy. Oh my glory. You might as it, it's April. You know, it's just an April day in the Finger Lakes. And you might say, okay, what are you doing? Just sitting there folding half sheets of paper. Well, this paper is fine paper. I cut this at Ollie's. So this is, um, was not expensive. And in fact, I think the entire ream of it was $2. I got the whole set for $2. It's 80 sheets, 24 pound paper, fine paper. By fine paper, it means it's like, it's almost like stationary. And it's in ivory color. It's a really pretty color. And you can see the, the uh, fibers in it, which you probably can't see on the screen, but that's okay. Uh, let me go ahead, take a minute here, and just do this. There. And now I'm going to nest them, and you're going to see what I am making. This will be a... My, I don't want to say unfinished. It's going to be a completed journal. It's just not going to have any pockets. It's not going to have any embellishments. It's just going to be pages, blank pages with a very specific theme. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six pages, which gives me six times four, 16 pages in here. I might do one more. Let me do one more. So this is an eight and a half by 11 that I am cutting to, no, yeah, five and a half, because I want to cut the long, I'm cutting the long way. Sorry, had a momentary concern about my numbers, but I'm doing fine. So this is obviously very easy. Um, I'm just putting them together in a booklet. And then I am taking some paper that I have that has an eclipse on it for a very specific reason. Some of you already know what the reason is. Okay, I want it to be... Uh, eight and a half inches this way. I want it to be eight and a half, and I want it to be five and a half. And I can go just a little bit over five and a half, and I can do that again. I want to do it this way, though, so I've got most of that there. Five and a half, and if I go just a little bit, I can get that whole piece on there. There we go. Okay, and now I'm folding these in half. So this is obviously an easy make on this Eclipse Maker Monday. I am in the path of totality. I am so excited. By the time you're watching this, uh, the, the eclipse may or may not have passed you by if you're in the United States. Um, if you are not in the U.S., we're very excited. This does not happen very often for us. In fact, I don't, I suppose I could look it up to find out exactly how long ago it happened. But uh, it's been a long, long, long time. And I am not doing these fancy. I am doing these with my long-handled stapler. Come on. There we go. And then I am going to take my ruler and my craft knife and my... I use this rather than the other, rather than this board for cutting on. Oh, which I have now messed up and is now all... Okay. I just like it better because it 
it doesn't um, theoretically the the gray one is self-healing but I don't know that it really is Sorry, I'm going silent on that. It takes concentration to get all these edges off. So I'm evening up the edges. I, this is something I don't generally do on my larger journals because I put lace and everything else on them. And I'm not doing that for these. This one is now complete. It will simply be... Well, I don't like how that came out. So let me cut that down too a little bit. I did not level it up very well. So let me just take that edge off. There. So now when you open it up, it's closer to this to all the same size. There we go. So now I'm going to be selling these at the uh, craft fair. We're doing one in, I've lost my, Oh, shoot. Hang on. I've lost my distress ink vintage photo. There we go. Um, we're doing a craft fair, and it's going to be for all of these people who are coming to the eclipse, to see the eclipse. We're supposed to be getting several thousands of people, numbering in the tens of thousands of people who will be coming to see this eclipse in this area. And so we're having a vendor fair and I will be there at the vendor fair. I know it's kind of weird. I'm not really sure that we're really going to get all of those people, but we'll see. Okay, let me get a bunch more papers here and cut them in half. We're gonna make some more of these. So this is pretty simple. All I'm doing is taking an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper I'm cutting it in half the long way so that I've got five and a half by five and a half. Oh, dear, there it goes. Um, and then I'm folding them in half. I'm putting 12 sheets in a, well, uh, six. How many did I do? Oh, you know what? I think I don't know how many I did on that one. Anyway, there's one. I can't keep track. Two, three, four. I did 20 on that one. Five, six. Six times four is 16. Let me get another sheet. And that'll make 17. 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so I'm going to cut that at five and a half. Cut them in half. So this is my day today. I'm just making a bunch of these. I already have a couple already finished. I think I have five or six already done. So this gives me now a number of them to be able to sell on Monday on the day of the eclipse. So I hope you're going to get a chance to get out and see what you can of the eclipse. It will be really cool. I have another one right here. Make sure that's, now see that one's perfect. That one lines up just exactly right. So let me take this. We have our eclipse glasses. Yes, please make sure you are doing this safely. And our county has already told everybody, make sure you have plenty of gas in your car. Make sure you have all your medicines, any money that you want. Make sure you have water. Uh, don't expect there to be cell service because there are going to be so many people online. Um, they don't, they're really expecting the cell service to be crappy. So... Yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm, when I first heard the warnings, I thought, really, really, you really think there's going to be that many people? Well, 
I don't know, but I mean, there are signs up on the throughway. There are signs on the expressways, all that are saying, stay alert. Um, watch for the, for traffic that just, I think they're afraid people will just stop on the side of the road. And that will not be a good thing if they do that. So if you're out and about, don't just stop on the side of the road. Find a good place to pull over completely, like a parking lot. Do not just stop on the side of the road. Okay, I think that's good. Make sure you have your glasses. Do not look directly at the sun. I remember as a kid making pinhole glasses for a partial that was going to happen. And I don't remember seeing very much in that pinhole. I don't know. I was probably in fifth or sixth grade. And, uh, there. There we go. There's another one. All done. So I'm just going to keep sitting here and making these um, while I wait for the eclipse, and which will happen at 3-something this afternoon uh, when you're watching this. So it'll be really cool. Uh, and the weather, like I said, I'm filming this ahead of time. but So hopefully the weather will be clear. We don't know that for sure. And in, in fact, I was reading about several people that have reservations. They're eclipse chasers. And they have reservations in three or four different locations along the path of totality so that they don't miss it. And they can just, they're going to take, they're watching the weather and then they will, on the, the morning of, they will make a decision as to where they're going to be dependent on what the weather is. They will let two reservations go and they will go to the one that they think they have the best chance of seeing the eclipse, which is kind of weird. I know that hotels around here are completely sold out. You can't get a reservation here for anything. Um, so if you're coming to the Finger Lakes, that may be a little bit tough. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight times four is 32. That's too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times four is 24. That's okay. That's what I've been doing in the other ones, 24. Okay. Now I need an, a new cover because I don't have those for that size. So I thought I would do a little bit lighter cover. This one has the sun and the moon and some gemstones. So this is a very different type of cover, but it also still has a right and up and down. So I want my eight and a half. Okay, hang on, I gotta think this through. I want my covers to go this way so my eight and a half can be here. So there's my eight and a half. And then I want it to be five and a half and five and a half. Right? Five and a half? Is that what I got? Now all of a sudden I'm getting confused. Four. No, they're not five and a half. Yes. Five and a half. Duh. Five and a half tall. Yes. Double checking. Yes. Five and a half tall. These are, this is just really pretty paper. I just got this from Michael's. I can show you the, um, this is from the Magical Thinking Paper Pock from Craftsmith. And I just picked this up at Michael's. So, if you're looking for this particular paper, that's where I got it. But I figured all of the other ones I have are navy blue and dark colors. So this would be nice to have one that is a light color. Okay. Um, 
I do have some other things, but they don't fit. So if you do not, I, I, people ask me, what's the best thing in your craft room? This thing. It is absolutely wonderful for making these small ones. Could I sew these in? Absolutely. You have, but you know from past videos that sewing is complicated for me. I'm going to do the other one and then I will cut them all at once. So let me cut my other papers. I have one paper. I need six more. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, and that gives me theoretically all the papers that I need for this project. Cutting three. I have been cutting them obviously more than one at a time at five and a half. And at five and a half. So tell me about your eclipse. Are you going to be able to see it in the comments below? Tell me about your experiences. Did you get to see it? Um, how much of it will you get to see? Like I said, we're pretty excited here. Uh, because there won't be another one until 2074, and I won't be here by then. I was born in 1957, and my goal is to make it to 2027. No, sorry, 20, 2027. No, that's only a few years from now. I want to go a lot further than that. 2057. I'm going to go to 2057 and see 100 years. I think that would be really cool to see 100 years. And I just realized I cut enough of these for two more journals, which is fine. Because I will use them up. I'll just make another one. There we go. Okay. There we go. We'll make that nice and this way. And we'll go this way. I did not do this with the other one. I don't know if it makes a big difference. We'll find out. We'll take a look in a minute. Okay, let's get this. Find our center. There it is. Yeah, this stapler, I think I got it at Staples, in fact, aptly enough. And it wasn't very expensive. I don't know, it was less than $20. It might have been less than 15 but I really like it and I use it and yeah notice I'm not putting anything on the covers at this point I don't I mean I have this which I could you know it kind of gets lost there but it might be okay on there so I might do that on the cover but that's the only one I have so I don't know maybe maybe not like I said, these are pretty quick and easy. What's nice about these, though, hang on, let me do this, and then I'm going to talk to you about how to use these if they don't get sold individually. But I have to think. I don't know why concentrating. I think I just don't want to cut my fingers off. Okay, so if I don't sell these, if, if for whatever reason they don't sell at this, I, because like I said, we're expecting thousands if we get, you know, a half a dozen. I have no idea how many people are going to show up. So if I don't sell these, these also work really nicely as a pocket in another journal. You know, so it's not like they're going to go to waste. I could do all sorts of things with these. Yeah. I could have rounded the corners. I might yet. But first things first, let's cut down the edges, cut down the pages so they're all the same. 
and my craft knife I think I got at Home Depot or Lowe's I don't know I told my husband I needed a box cutter and next thing I knew I had a box cutter he gave me two of them and he said which one do you like better and I said this one because it's hyper tough there we go nice and tough good good tool um, I know some people that, that you watch their videos and that's all they use. They don't use any other kind of cutter. And I don't know that I could do that, but my, my corners pieces there. All right. So there we go. Four little journals quickly made. Blank insides. Nothing fancy. Keep in mind, not everything needs to be fancy. And as I said I was going to look and see if it made a difference. I don't think it does so much. You know, whether I, because I didn't do either one of these. But if I do that, it seems to fold, hold down just a little bit more. So it's like a little addendum just to show you. I chose to, I took the strips that were cut off and I made two little ones, leaving only this amount of waste. Just two little piece, square pieces couple of things that will make nice belly bands and some extra things that I'll use to stamp on um, and whatnot. So there we go. Oh, I also rounded the corners on that one. I really do like how it looks. So there we go. All from two sheets of 12 by 12 and a whole bunch of 8.5 by 11. All right. Back to the other video. Just a little bit more so it's not popped up quite so much. All right, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button to let YouTube know that you have been enjoying them. I can feel the difference in this one, so we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, and happy eclipse. Let me know how things went for you. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.